Hey, and welcome to the Toadstead. And yeah, it looks like my homesteading page is, at least for a bit, going to be the trailer repair page. Because there seems to be a lot of that coming in now. Now this one's a trailer that a friend of mine built. Not bad for his first attempt, actually. And uh, he built it to carry a, a full dress Harley Davidson. But he had, he built this nice channel right in here for a set of ramps you know similar to those over there and that's all fine and dandy but if any of you have ever ridden a motorcycle up a set of, uh, up one ramp <laughs> right up the middle you realize that if you stall in this area you and the bike are going over now it just so happens we just finished the uh i guess you call it repurpose uh rebuild of a old landscaping trailer which is now happily in its home and we had this ramp left over so we're gonna adapt this ramp which is far far safer to ride a motorcycle and a whole lot easier for things like lawnmowers and whatnot because you don't have to carry a set of ramps we're gonna adapt this one to uh, this trailer for our friend and we're gonna do a couple little weird things that uh, I've never seen done before we're gonna do them anyway when he built this, you can see he put little channels here for a tailgate, and then he welded this channel on to support the ramps. Now we're not gonna mess with any of that. We're gonna go ahead and put this ramp on, and I may have to put some reinforcements in here, inside this channel, but before I do, we'll use those ramps over there as guinea pigs and we'll make sure that where we put the reinforcements won't preclude the use of a set of ramps if he ever wants to also it won't interfere with his tailgate and normally when they build these trailers at least the ones i've seen the pins got them sitting over here this is one of the pins that welds to the body of the trailer um, usually there are one on this way on this side and the other one is facing this way but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that far one facing this way and this one facing this way that way the ramp itself can be removed street side to allow for stuff now this trailer is 10 feet long but with this ramp if you can't take it off you're limited to that 10 foot length as far as lumber whatnot goes and this friend of ours is getting ready to build a, build a home so he's going to need this trailer to do to carry 12 14 perhaps even 16 foot long lumber <coughs> so he'll be able to take the ramp off that sounds a little dangerous but it's actually not because as you'll see in future parts of the video we're going to make it so when the ramp is in the up position it's locked and simply cannot move side to side no matter what happens so as long as one doesn't decide to drive off with the ramp deployed there's no way it can fall off and even if I'm wrong it'll fall off curbside it won't fall off street side but I really don't think that's going to be an issue so we'll take you along as we do this and I got a feeling we'll see this trailer again maybe next year sometime because obviously the deck boards and uh, it just needs a freshening up but that's not our mission for this deal we're just going to get this ramp on and working all right well what we did here is we've got the parts of the barrel you can barely see them down in there they're tack welded on I guess that would be the pins actually the pins are welded to the back of the trailer so let's see if we can peek at them here. Yeah, there they are. You can see it right there in the middle of the screen. And the half that attaches to the trailer is tacked on both sides. And we're doing a just a little test. Make sure it goes up and down. And then the uh I'm alone, so there's not a lot of stuff here that I can film in while I'm doing it. But the next thing we'll do is go ahead and slide the we're going to lower the gate and then slide it to that direction and actually take it off 
and then we're going to take out the uh, the buzz box. I tack welded it with the, the little wire feed, um, but that's really not the machine to use. The machine to use is the, the big, the big uh, stick welder to finish that job off. So we're going to get that done and we'll bring you back. All right. Well, we've got one side of this all done. You can see the trailer's welded on. Excuse me. <laughs> you can see that the uh, ramp is welded on and just got some flat steel, eighth inch flat steel down here to a stainless steel bolt with a uh, nylock washer on it. So it, it rotates back and forth. And then we just modified a uh, clevis pin with a cutter pin. Runs it to a chain and that's screwed on. So the procedure to take it off is just to pop this pin off. And if you're smart, after you pull this pin out put the cotter pin back in just so you can't lose it take both sides off and it will tilt forward that way a little bit more so there's no sense that don't worry about having the ramp fall back down and you do both sides and then you've got these struts holding it from the ramp from coming forward or backwards and I think this will work so let's get the other side done and We'll get it finished up. Okay, well, you know, what's a video without a little laundry in the background? Yeah, the client has decided that we'll go ahead and uh, paint this all when, it, when we replace the boards, which isn't far down the line. You can see the boards here are pretty, pretty raggedy and uh, the spacing really wasn't what it could have been. So we'll uh, likely do some do some measuring, a little bit of math, and we'll replace those, make them look a little better. And at that time, then we'll go ahead and go through it and do what little repairs it needs and, uh, and paint the whole thing. A whole lot better to paint it when tires, wheels, deck, everything's off of it. So this is the end of it. It's all done in, ready to use. Got its pins and everything, so been a fun little job. Only took a few hours, and uh, this trailer is now very, very much ready to use for everything from the Harley Davidson it was originally built for to, uh, you know, riding lawnmowers and all that stuff, carrying its own ramp. Hey, thanks for coming on for another little trailer job. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time around.